Joseph Scott Lutz. Is he a lucky dude or an unlucky dude? Kind of hard to tell. Scott's been waiting eight years for this. It's his first free fall. Scott and his instructors jump at 12,000 feet. The instructors hold him steady against the rushing wind. Scott is falling fast and loving it. Time to open that chute, Scott. He yanks the cord. The chute opens. Then it breaks away. Yeah, that's right. This freaking chute rips off, and the instructors watch him go bye-bye. for all kind of different types of shoes. They can be tangled, um, you know, they can, there can be problems where they're half deployed. And I remember thinking when that happened, I don't think they ever trained me about what would happen if your whole shoot disappeared. Scott plunges to the ground at 125 miles an hour. There's only 1,000 feet between Scott and Splat. I deployed the chute. The chute opened, and I, I looked up, and the chute was full and round, which is a, a good sign. But the next second, the chute was disappearing. I was going further and further away from it. thought, I, I'm going to die. With only seconds left, Scott can't find his reserve chute open. I was falling upside down at about 125 miles an hour. One of my instructors was coming down trying to get to me, and they were pointing, and I saw the metal handle, and I grabbed onto it, and I thought, well, this is my last chance. If, if this doesn't work, then I'm, then I'm dead. His reserve chute finally opens. It looks like he's lucked out. Now all Scott has to do is float gently back to Earth. Unless, of course, he's unlucky enough to hit some power lines. Well, there's Scott, and there's the power lines. Guess where Scott's going. Now that's unlucky. Power lines. They were just everywhere, and I could hear them. They were crackling, and, and I knew if I hit the pole, I would be grounded, and I'd be electrocuted. And... I remember thinking at that point, I'm going, you know, I just survived my chute malfunction and now I'm going to hit power lines up and I thought, you know, what, what's next? I felt like Wally Coyote. Scott got zapped for third degree burns on his leg and foot. He needed two skin grafts to repair the damage. How does he feel about skydiving now? I'm, I'm never going to jump again. I don't think most people realize how little time you have. If something goes wrong, you just have a matter of seconds between whether what you do will, will make you live or you know, kill you. Scott's one of the unluckiest dudes around. Well, yeah, but he's still alive. So I guess that makes him an extremely lucky dude. <laughs>